Part 3, Chapter 4 Equestria's premier friendship expert applies her art. Ha! Huh. And they say I'm out of touch with the younger generation. I can pop it and lock it with all of the snazzy cool cats. Wait, why is she laughing? According to Luna, she's supposed to give me a flank bump in recognition of my hipness. Still, laughter is good, I think. It is one of the elements of harmony, after all. <laughs> I can't breathe! I can't breathe! wheezed Dinky in between fits of giggles. Yo, don't be trippin', I ain't no flossy foo. Me and my woadies are, um, no, chicken heads. You diggity? I mean, you dig? I slowly trailed off. This was not going as I expected. Dinky was laughing so hard she looked like she was about to lose consciousness. Stop! Please! <laughs> Struggled the young filly before bursting into another bout of guffaws. Other ponies in the class were starting to stare. Maybe Luna was not the best choice to do research on full speak. I should have asked Raven or eavesdropped on some of the young unicorns at the academy. Why is it my plans to court Ditsy always seem to fall apart in the most obvious ways? It's as if when I think about her, my millennia of experience just goes flying out the window. Well, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Being a princess is about making even your mistakes appear intentional. Uh, yes, my little joke. I laughed nervously. You can't do that kind of thing the first time you meet some pony. Dinky wiped the tears from her eyes. I laughed so hard I nearly gave myself a heart attack. You're one funny pony, uh, Sunbeam, but you can call me Sunny. I offered my hoof tentatively. Ponies do still bump hooves, don't they? I breathed a sigh of relief when Dinky responded in kind. I'm only in Ponyville for one day, but I was wondering if you'd like to... Chillax? Get jiggy with it? Bounce with some homies round the block? No, I think I need to abandon the script Luna prepared for me. I've been getting letters from Twilight about friendship for well over a year now. Time to show that I'm qualified to be your instructor in such matters and to make myself a new friend. <laughs> hang out? I tried. Dinky narrowed her eyes. You want to hang out with me? Why? You don't even know me. She glared at me, suddenly bristling with suspicion. Damn, I moved in too soon. Now I have to think fast. What information do I have? Think. Find common ground. Dinky is picked on because of her mom. Dinky hates phonies. Dinky is a unicorn. Dinky has not yet acquired her cutie mark. Dinky dislikes the CMC. I guess I'm just more used to spending time with other unicorns since I've lived in Canterlot for so long. Other unicorns that aren't... like that. I nodded at the cutie mark crusaders who had seemingly forgotten about their attempt to recruit me. They had produced what looked like capes from their desks and were prancing about the classroom, clearly excited about some new crusade. They're not all bad, Dinky reluctantly admitted. I just thought they were different from the others until they published those photos of my mom and... Your mom? Dinky shot a stabbing glare at me. I just stepped on a landmine. I have to play innocent. Can't let her know I know anything about Ditsy. Could this be a useful back door into her life? My mom is different to other ponies. In a good way, even if some of the jerks in this class don't understand that, said Dinky, fuming with sudden indignation. You're talking about Diamond Tiara? I asked. Yeah, she's the worst of them. Her and her stupid friend. She always knows just how to get under my skin. I saw you talking to her earlier. What did you say to her to make her run off like that? Dinky had put down the book she had been reading and was wholly focused on me. This was going well. I could feel it. Just a few more careful pushes and I'll be able to start gathering inside information. I told her that I'd only known her for a few seconds and already I could tell she's an empty, callous shell of a pony who takes out her many, many insecurities on those around her. And that I hoped a bird pooped on her head. What kind of special talent is owning a diamond tiara, anyway? If she loses it, does she lose her talent as well? What a total... phony! Dinky nodded sagely as I spoke. Took the words right out of my mouth, she grinned. She didn't know how right she was. So, I've got to spend a whole day in Ponyville. Want to give me a tour of the town? Unless you're busy or something. Think, Celestia, think! Common ground! 
I'm at a magical academy back in Canterlot. Maybe I could teach you some spells? Dinky perked up. For real? You will? That's awesome! I've been trying to learn from books, but it's really difficult. Even, like, stuff that book says is supposed to be easy, like telekinesis, is really tough. My mom knows nothing about magic. Excellent. Whether she's an aspiring magic user or simply a filly interested in mastering the use of her horn, that could be an easy way for me to connect with her, as Celestia and as Sunny. Half-breeds always have difficulty mustering up even basic magic skills, but there are several simple steps one can take to teach them energy conservation techniques that can extend and enhance their capabilities. I haven't been running a magical academy for the past hundred years for my own entertainment. I brought out the full potential of thousands of young students over the years. That could prove to be a bond between myself and the young Dinky, which in turn could be a bond between myself and Ditsy. Things were going just as planned. Now I need a little more information to repair the damage of my rather hasty advances on her mother. Sure, we could hang out for a bit after school if you want, said Dinky, as she glanced up to see Cheerilee had returned with a cup of coffee. Oh, is recess over already? Back to your seats, every pony," called a cheery cheerily. I'll see you after school, I whispered as I trotted back to my assigned desk. Um, Miss Cheerily, I think Diamond Tiara is sick. Or something. May we be excused? Asked the silvery-colored filly, Diamond Tiara's only friend, I presume. She was standing next to a very frazzled-looking Diamond Tiara. Is it true? Are you feeling unwell? Asked the teacher, sounding concerned. I w w want to kiss Apple Bloom on the m m m m mouth," whined the rather ruined-looking pink filly. Cheerily stared at the two of them for a long moment. Uh, yes, be a dear and take her to see Nurse Redheart, Silver Spoon. I settled in my desk. Looks like everything is going according to plan. <laughs>